hey guys what's up nps 3d here and welcome back to another exciting video in this video i'm going to reveal a great add-on which can save some of your clicks and this is really handy in your vfx workflow so this is the file which you will get only these three the copyright notice and the add-on itself and the quick vfx tool and here you will able to read all the you know documentation stuff like what is this add-on all about the quick installation and manual installation along with the features what it actually does in both scenario like for the environment stuff and for the texturing stuff and guys don't relate this with your uh, basic or normal texturing which we commonly do for the different scenario this is only be used in the visual effect scenario i will show you the example as well as how you can easily use this along with that some troubleshooting like common issues if you face with this add-on you just have to recheck all these things tips and uh, best practices for these things environment and support so this is the documentation must read and this is the copyright notice uh, and uh, i will share the link so you can go and download this add-on so i'm using 4.5 this add-on compatible with blender version 3 and above so right now i'm using 4.5 so this is a visual effect scene let's suppose you finish 3d tracking inside blenders and after that i created the scene and i created some cube and plane and these are the nulls which you can see and guys don't worry it will also work if you track your scene inside after effect and transfer the data the thing where it will help i will show you the manual process first and then later i will show you how you can use this so that you can you know compare these methods and guys why i made it because this thing i do all the time whenever i try to track a visual effect shot and after that i do all these things all the time so that's why i made this add-on if i go to the render mode and not able to see any kind of a lighting so for lighting i can go simply into the void go to the color and click environment texture and hit open and i can load a 360 environment map which I captured on the location. This is a few clicks which you do to load up your HDRI. Now to uh, see my actual footage, I can go to the render properties, film and enable transparent so I can see the or video footage. Now I can toggle these to see my 360 environment map and also the footage. Now I want to align my 360 environment map in a way like our video is. For that, I have to go inside the shader editor and here I have to choose the world parameter. I will select the 360 environment map and I'll press Ctrl T. I just have to rotate this rotation so I can, you know, basically rotate the HDRI so it will get the reflection the same way our video is. So here I will again enable the transparent. So this is the rough way you can do it and this is a standard method which I was using all the time. After that, let's suppose I want to use this ground plane and I want to apply a visual effect material. What is the visual effect material in my scenario? I want to create a plane which uh, basically catch the same texture from the ground. And for that, the method I use, I use the same video and I change the texture coordinate. So let me show you how I do it. So I select the ground plane first, create new material. And here I simply load the same video file. And after that, I plug this into as a color. So now you will able to see this, but you can see this is not like our ground so for that i have to select this texture press ctrl t and here i have to plug this as a window so it will get the same and you can see this is not working right so i have to do a couple of changes as well as just like i have to increase the frames and also i have to click auto refresh so it will refresh all the frames every time and this is the basic nodes which you can set up by yourself if you don't want this add-on and uh, after that i have to do a couple of things just like I, I have to select the video and go to the camera properties background image and here i can increase the opacity to see this and if i want to change the brightness of environment i can go to the world parameters here i can change again and pump the strength just like this i can do a couple of more tricks like so where my add-on comes all this process which we done just now i can do with my add-on as well as but in a more efficient way faster than our uh, traditional methods so i can simply go back to the rendered mode so i can see my environment texture i can press n and choose my vfx tool this is a quick vfx tool so one click load environment map and in the second click i can load the environment map and boom in two clicks you can load your environment map and you don't have to go again in the shader editor and world tab and you can create the node triangular and do the rotation you can do rotation here you can see 
how easily in the third click i am tweaking my environment map and here i can you know easily tweak it i have the location parameters as well as to you know for the more precise control i can just do it so you can see this is how easy with setting environment map with our add-on now if you want to visualize your footage just click on film transparent and boom with these you can see all these things in one place so you can just click and do everything as much quick as you can also if i once i enable film film transparent you can see the video footage is not fully in set to 100% so i can just make it 100% or i can just turn it down whenever i want to visualize and you can do it here now let me select this uh, ground plane and click on create vfx material and here you have to select your video file so in this case i will select the same video file and create vfx material and boom it is a load up here and you can see if you play it is perfectly synced with the original ground and this is working very fine based on the camera and here i can just change the frame duration in somehow if not working always make sure you have to put 1000 and in your case if the video length is longer than 1000 frames just increase this and it will work so this is how you can set up your uh, environment map and the textures for your visual effect shot and here i can boost power of environment map to 2 to get some more lighting and let me switch back to the cycles here so i can here i can just click on this render region and it will remove this outer stuff you can also go here and in enable this but i'll simply do it over here and let's suppose if you're in the solid mode or maybe if you are in ev mode in that scenario this part is still visible for that you just increase this to one and boom so this is the quickest way using our add-on you can simplify or add your environment map along with the textures once you will open your in this link you will go on this page called quick vfx tool for blender add-ons it's for environmental mapping and vfx material and this is a one click solution for these things and there are some you know some useful stuff you which you can see which our add-on is offering and guys the big news is this is completely free so if you don't want to pay something for me it's fine totally fine you can download it for free and use it but remember our name nps3d and we'll make something more exciting for you as well as in upcoming days but if you want to give something you can just put a fair price like not like this one so thanks for watching this video and this is all about our visual effect tool which you can you know easily set up for the 360 environment map and the textures for your visual effect work and hope you are uh, excited for this one and uh, thanks for watching my video thanks for loving me i am nps ready and i will see you next time until then keep working keep smiling bye bye and take care guys